Sagittarius. This is your December 1st, 2022 Daily Tarot Reading. These are your Oracle cards. I'm going to cut, and this is your card. And I will read it at the end of this reading. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for December the 1st. 2022 universal energies show me what i need to see for the star sign of sagittarius for december the 1st 2022 universal energies show me what i need to see for the star sign of sagittarius for december the 1st 2022 show me Happy birthday, Sag. Happy birthday. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Sag, these are your cards, honey. So, Sag, you have the Six of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past, full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So listen, Sag, you know, you could be having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with someone from your past. You can tell me that someone from your past is in the picture, someone from their past is in the picture, something from the past is being brought back up here, or this involves children. Clarify the Six of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Six of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Six of Cups for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Seven of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So, Sag, listen, you could be all up in your head fantasizing here. You can tell me there's some confusion. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. You can tell me that there's lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explore some of those other options. Now, Sag, listen, you could be in your head fantasizing about reuniting, yes? Sag, you can tell me that someone from your past is in the picture and you're needing to make a choice, that you have options here. However, you can tell me that someone from your from their past is in the picture and they have other options and have been, have been exploring some of those other options. Sag, you could also tell me that something from the past is being brought back up here and we're discovering some type of lies or illusions or the fact that someone had other options. Sag, you have strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lust, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself and hold yourself back from something. So Sag, listen, could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me that you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself, and holding yourself back, or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Sagittarius. Clarify strength for Sagittarius. Clarify strength for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So, Sag, listen, you can tell me that you guys are having this communication. You can tell me that you've come into some truth and clarity. You can tell me that you're making a decision or using this sword to sever. Now, Sag, listen, you can tell me that you're trying to be strong here when making a decision because maybe you have a choice to make. However, you can tell me that you've come into some truth and clarity here and it's causing you to feel extremely weak because 
this person that you're dealing with could have had other options. Someone from their past could be in the picture. However, said you can tell me that you're mustering the strength and courage to use this sword to sever. Said you have the emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, but the emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. Sag could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with or do business with here. Clarify the emperor for Sagittarius. Clarify the emperor for Sagittarius. Clarify the emperor for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the hangman. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the hangman signifies that the relationship is stagnant right now. It's suspended in the air. There's no movement, but you may be beginning to change your perspective. So, Sag, listen, very well could be dealing with a Pisces, but you're telling me that you guys are stagnant. However, you could be changing your perspective. Clarify the hangman for Sagittarius. Clarify the hangman for Sagittarius. Clarify the hangman. For Sagittarius, four of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There's an offer on the table that you're not accepting or rejecting. You're contemplating this offer, but actually you're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of you contemplating sending an offer, but you fear that the offer would be rejected. So Sag, very well could be an offer coming into you that you're thinking about missing, okay? Very well can be someone you have some type of history with. Someone from your past here, Sag. Sag, you could also tell me that, hmm, I don't know. It's hanging in the balance. I need to make a decision. Maybe I'm changing my perspective. Maybe I'm going to come in with this offer. I just have this fear they won't accept it. You could be in your head fantasizing about reuniting with this person. Sag, you have the three of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up, making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, Sag, listen, you know, you can tell me that, hey, I'm willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. This can be some type of an agreement, a contract, collaboration. Or you're telling me that there's a third party here. Clarify the three of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the three of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the three of pentacles for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the queen of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. So, Sag, could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups, using your intuition concerning something, or searching your emotions concerning something. Also, with the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups. For Sagittarius, clarify the Queen of Cups. For Sagittarius, clarify the Queen of Cups. For Sagittarius, it is clarified with the Seven of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something, someone being deceptive, someone strategically devising a plan of action, someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So sad, some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness here, sneakiness or sneaking off. Now listen, you can tell me that, hey, you know, I'm using my intuition. You know, searching my emotions concerning working things out with this partner because they were deceptive. However, Sag, you can tell me that you're thinking long and hard about whether or not you should be sneaking off with a third party. Because it very well could be someone from your past that's lurking. Sag, you have the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. So Sag, listen, this can be about your money, assets, resources, your abundance. Very well could be that someone has commitment on the brain. However, in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to a commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Where well, this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So Sad, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed. You can tell me it's an actual change in your luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Sagittarius. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Sagittarius. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Five of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war. One up in one another. Snide remarks. Having the last say. Speaking ill of one another behind each other's back. Backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games. Ego tripping. Trying to win at all costs. A bunch of mind games and manipulation. So, Sag, listen, you can tell me that you guys had this tit for tat tug of war, toe to toe going on. Could be some form of mind games and manipulation. However, you can tell me that you're pissed and you have an axe to grind here. Now, Sag, you guys could have had this tit for tat tug of war, toe to toe going on over the finances. And this is why you're looking to go elsewhere. Sag, you can tell me that, hey, you know, everything between you guys has changed, things are ending because of mind games and manipulation or the fact that you're just pissed and you're ready to see what else is out here, Sag. Hmm. Sag, this is your oracle card. <clears throat> and it says, the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. OMG. I said OMG. Sag, this is your December 1st, 2022 daily tarot reading. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.